Hey everybody, today we're gonna to be checking out six really cool canopy builds from our customers. Whether you're wanting to get a little bit more shade out on your porch or wanna protect from the elements, these are great ways that our customers have created canopies over their personal space with EMT conduit and some simple maker pipe connectors. Let's get right into it. The first one is beautiful. I mean, who wouldn't wanna hang out on this amazing lanai aka a deck in hawaii and it's a beautiful hawaiian view uh, but this canopy is really simple and effective what you have here is you've got uh, just a few pipes we've got three verticals one two three and then it's supporting this frame that's made up of pretty much just t connectors and 180s uh, there's a 180 here and some t connectors that are supporting but really simple and elegant design. Uh, let's check out some of the other photos. We've got that one, which is a gorgeous shot. There's one without the canopy, and you can get a little bit of detail on what connectors were used. We'll go back there, another picture, and then that's the view, that's the, the shot. But here, let's check in on the what connectors were used where. Here you've got the, the T connector that joins the uprights uh, and I noticed they're also held on by one hole straps here to the deck, which is a smart idea just to reinforce everything. And then T connectors here on the end, as well as these, but then this is where the 180 comes in and this, this pipe extends all the way through. The, so that's where the 180 is used. And you can see the same is done over here with a 180. So just a couple of 180s, a lot of T connectors and, um, not too much pipe either, and what a beautiful view. What a beautiful canopy. Uh, I love that. So that one uh, was sent in from John and uh, said that it held up to some winds. They occasionally gets winds up to three, 30 miles an hour, so it's holding up great. And then anything over that probably takes it down uh, to save the frame. But uh, the canopy material, kind of that typical sunshade material, held on by some bungee ball straps. So that is a great one. John, thanks so much for sending that in. Next one here, we've got really a kind of unique version of that. And this is a convertible one that goes from a down position. You can see this is on their, their back deck, back porch. You can see it in the down position and then it raises and goes up into um, kind of a slanted shade if you need more space. And again, same kind of canopy material, sunshade material. This is actually held in by some uh, clips here that we have on the website, normally made for greenhouse material, but it works great as well. And the thing that makes it pivot, like you see, that's the, the out position, looks great for entertaining, and then that's the down position, is the fact that these are mounted with the adjustable flange connectors. So that's the flange is located on the top and attached to that that fascia board, that underneath fascia board. And these are the adjustable flanges right here. And they hinge and they can rotate all the way through. So you can see it can just flop down or be put up and that's how they're achieving that adjustable angle. And when it's in the out position, there's another adjustable angle connector here on the end that allows them to put these two supports on either side. So really pretty clever design, modifies with what their needs. Um, and the frame is also very similar to what we saw uh, with the last one. So let's, let's take a look here. We've got the a combination of 180s. Here's a 180 in the middle where it has to span that one pipe and then some T connectors around the end. Um, so very simple frame um, and then held and tied by some zip, zip ties. I think they use that to attach the shade material to the frame. So great build, really creative use of, uh, of conduit and uh, to have some different positions for their canopy sunshade. Looks like a great backyard. It said first project too. So what a, that's a great first project. It really came out well. So Lance, thanks for sending that in. We really appreciate it. Here's one that is more gardening focused. It's actually a shade for some dragon fruit plants. And we've had a few people that are 
into growing dragon fruits and we've had people you do them with trellises you know support their plants with trellises made out of emt conduit uh, but lawrence here he made a uh, a shade for the back side of his house to protect the dragon fruits and keep them out of direct sunlight and it looks like it might be somewhere in the south or southwest uh, with the look of this so getting really direct sunlight uh, is something that you, whether you're growing dragon fruits or you know, any other type of gardening you might want to consider. Um, but this is a really elegant and simple design. Uh, we see this design over and over again, uh, whether we're building trellises or our customers are just making a rectangular or cube or some sort of structure. And, and that is 90 degree connectors on the corners. So you got 90 degree connectors here and you got one two, three, and four, right there. And that creates the outside. But then you've got this long span, and depending on how big this sunshade is, you're gonna wanna break that up and have these vertical supports somewhere along the way. You might pick to do it every 10 feet, every five feet, whatever your application is. But that's where the, the uh, four-way connector comes in. And that, we've got one, and two four-way connectors. Uh, so six connectors, and that basic structure is used in a lot of builds when you're building something uh, rectangular like that. Looks like the sunshade is held on just with some ball bungees. Yep, you can see a few ball bungees all the way around, which is a great way to do it. And um, it's a great thing too, because you can really size the structure to the sunshade. If unless you're getting a custom sunshade, you're going to have a specific, you know, sewn dimension, and then you can customize that and make your frame exactly to those dimensions. Um, so very simple but very effective build by Lawrence. Uh, really appreciate you sharing that. Thanks, Lawrence. Great build. Here's one that's a little bit different. Um, this will become a canopy. It's not quite there, but this is actually a support for a vine canopy in the backyard. And I love this because it's a really creative use of conduit, only uses a few connectors and has a really artistic feel to it. Uh, you can see that the vines are starting to grow up the form and just created that kind of wave. I think it's like a wave looking form, which is really creative and neat uh, that's spanning from the fence there all of the way to the house uh, and then you've got some material in between and craig built this uh, said how he was happy and and talks a little bit about um, his experience with building it and any of these posts you can go check out the links and go to the community where these uh, there's a little bit more detail on these builds uh, but in this case four connectors used uh, as far as maker pipe goes you've got one, two, three, four, and the, that's just these horizontal braces that kind of keep the structure together. And a lot of times when you have these curves, um, the adjustable angle connector is good for matching those up and putting a support. Uh, but here it wasn't needed. Um, it says in the post that it was just a 45 degree connector and then a T connector grabbed on and made those supports. Um, and if you're interested in bending conduit, there's a lot of different ways. Um, Jake actually did a really good video about bending long radius or big radius pieces of conduit. So check that out if you're interested. But you can accomplish bending just with a hand bender uh, if, you're, if you're really careful and go through the process. So you can accomplish something like this. Three sticks of conduit, maybe four, a couple connectors, and it's a really interesting and creative build. I can't wait to see it when it gets all grown out and you get the vine going all the way over the form. That's gonna be really beautiful in the backyard. Uh, so thanks for sending that one in, love seeing it. This build is from Julie, and this is uh, a really in-depth build. This is a bigger canopy. It spans, each section is 15 by 10 feet, so in total, it's 30 feet by 10, so it's really big. And something to consider is definitely your special weather, right? Uh, wherever they are, they need to, where they're 
you know, they get hurricanes sometimes. So you got to keep in mind how you're going to approach that because wind load, snow load, these kind of considerations are really important when you're building like this. And they kind of have a plan that it, it can withstand winds up to 40, but then after 40, they take it down and they have a whole process. So you can read more about that in the post. Um, but the canopy, it spans, you can see how big it is. It's um, in two sections and they built a lot of cool techniques here. They built this structure off of uh, the side of the house and then the canopy panels mount to that. And then on the opposite side, you can see they use some quick clamps there. There's the write up. You guys can check that out. Um, on the other side, you've just got these uh, poles here. And that's, they're anchored in the ground. Let me see if I can get a better picture. Yeah, here's a good one. They're anchored into the ground with a flange. So you've got those four poles and that's supporting the outside of the canopy. Um, and those can lay flat if they get any weather. And again, the, the part that's on the building, it just stays there throughout any of the weather. And if you look at that, uh, it's mainly made up with some adjustable angles for reinforcement, getting more triangles. More triangles, the better. That's going to make uh, it stronger. And then it's mounted to the house. And it really is customized uh, to their situation, which I love seeing. And then you've got that top pole or piece of EMT that they're going to attach to. And I think they, they also use some flanges down here. Uh, to mount into the brick. Um, so really good kind of way to adapt their house and all the different angles and make it ready for the canopy panels. Um, and these canopy panels, which you can see that there's there's two of them here, and they use more of like a, a fabric here, uh, but it's just three-quarter inch EMT conduit. They use some metal zip ties to hold the fabric on there. And what I really think is a neat technique that I saw with the underneath of this shot is, and this is the, the panels installed, right? Is they use these wires, metal wire that puts the whole thing in tensions, tension, excuse me. So that they attach the metal wire to both corners, make an X out of it, and then use turnbuckles to tighten and keep the wire taut. And that keeps that whole frame kind of in tension and secure. A really great way to, for not a lot of weight, not a lot of money, really reinforce your builds. And we've been playing with this and using it in uh, different structures and different ways to reinforce builds. So I love seeing it there. Um, you can also get a good look at the metal zip ties. And then there, it looks like there's also some ball bungees uh, that attach there. And again, they made it in two panels. So if the wind does pick up, and they have a hurricane incoming, they can take this all down because there's, there's really no chance that it's going to survive a full-on hurricane. Um, so great build. Way to think ahead. I mean, really planned out well. And you guys accomplished a, uh, a really big canopy. So if you have ambitions of doing this size build, you know, this is a great build to check out. There's also some more in the community that you might want to get in touch with and feel free also to reach out to us. We're happy uh, to kind of give some pointers and some guidance along the way. So Julie, thanks for, for sending that one in. Love seeing it. This last canopy build is one of my favorites just because of its simplicity. And uh, we got some great pictures from Roger about this build. Um, Roger was saying that he really, he wanted a canopy for like three years on the edge of the building in this spot. Uh, to get some rain protection outside of the door and didn't know quite how to do it. Uh, came across Maker Pipe and then really made an eloquent, eloquent uh, design here, simple design that can be achieved with just a few connectors and some pipe. And I'll tell you, we love this so much. We actually used, we were inspired by this design and used this outside of our shop and made some canopies um, very, very similar to this. So the way this is done is uh, you've got just a, a few T's here. You've got one, two, three, four on the outside to make the rectangle of the awning. 
And then if we look in here again, you see that 180 in the middle. And then T connectors, one, two, three, four T connectors to kind of brace this center cross. Um, so eight T connectors, 180, 180 degree connector uh, to make the canopy, which is pretty efficient. Um, some self-tapping screws probably are holding this corrugated metal onto the frame. And then you got to prop it up and then attach it. So um, some two hole straps just attached right there to the fascia board. There's actually quite a few. You can see one, two, three, four, you know, quite a few, probably a dozen or so. Um, attaching it to the fascia board of the house. And then adjustable connectors here to uh, kind of prop it up at whatever angle you're looking for. Uh, and really simple build, very effective. Uh, I love to see it. And, it. and it looks beautiful in this spot, in this, um, this house. So, oh, and then attaching to the building, you can see that right here. That's the adjustable flange to attach it to the building. You've got some spots to drill right into the exterior. And you've got a simple sunshade and rain, rain canopy. So really great build. Uh, love seeing that one. That one inspired us to build outside of our shop. Um, and uh, all these are great. I hope this gave you some ideas on how you might be able to make your next sunshade or canopy a your project. Um, if you have any more questions, please feel free to reach out. We're always willing to help with the projects. And we'll see you next time. Thanks so much.